We tend to forget that happiness doesn't come as a result of getting something we don't have, but rather of recognizing and appreciating what we do have. That's a quote by Frederick Koenig. Koenig was not a renowned philosopher, but rather the creator of a steam-powered printing press back at the early days of the 19th century. His quote hit home for me. For the past year or so, I've been wrestling with trying to define the difference between being satisfied and being happy. Admittedly, I've spent my whole life using these two concepts interchangeably. And now, as I coach individuals in the benefits of staying present, or in their learner-researcher mode, as I call it, I'm recognizing qualitative differences between these two concepts. Being satisfied, it seems to me, relates to the degree of completion of some agenda. And agendas live in our knower-judger, that emotional side of our operating system. We feel good when we accomplish something, score a goal, finish a race on the podium, earn over X thousand dollars a year, etc. Being happy, on the other hand, as I see it, doesn't require goal acquisition. Can I be happy without winning? Sure. If I've driven to the best of my ability, left it all out there on the road, and have nothing more to put toward the effort, and still don't win, I can be happy and not satisfied. If I earn a million dollars per year, yet don't have a warm relationship with my family and my children, I can see myself as being satisfied and not happy. I can, of course, be both satisfied and happy, or dissatisfied and unhappy. And if I can see possibilities of all those, then it seems to me they aren't the same things. I suppose it's a question of balance. Psychologists speak about the need for balance in our lives, and these may be the metrics. I can be broke and happy, and then I can't feed myself or my family. It's probably not what I want. So some measure of satisfaction, meeting some agendized goal, seems necessary for balance. I can also be meeting all my material goals and be working 100 hours a week till my health fails. So not be able to claim happy would be unbalanced. It seems that satisfied and happy can be correlated or completely independent of each other. The more I view them as correlated, the more I tend to see them as the same thing. That is, I have to be satisfied in order to be happy. Koenig's quote above helps me separate the two. And the concept in there is recognizing the stuff of life for which we are forever grateful. I'm satisfied with my income, my new car, winning the race, upgrading my home, other status-oriented goals. But I'm happy or grateful for my children and my grandchildren, the fact that my 90-year-old mom's still with us, and I'm living at this time in this place. Flowers, my wife's source of happy. Music, both what I hear and what I play. There's a qualitative difference there. I'm happy about the things I'm just simply lucky to have or experience. I'm satisfied when a plan works and I accomplish what I set out to do. Striving for better balance, I intend to plan to be more grateful. And when I am, I will be both satisfied and happy. I'm Kim DeMott, corporate co-driver, and this is another moment of clarity.